Have you ever wanted the power to control fire in Minecraft? Well, today I did exactly just that. But when I joined this Minecraft server, I noticed something off. What is this? This is the Bliss SMP. Whenever you spawn, you get 1 out of 7 random gems that allow you to cast magical superpowers. For me to cast the power of fire, I will need the fire gem. And I have this yellow gem one. So in order for me to swap gems, I will need to craft a trader. So let's get grinding. Oh, that's a lot of iron. How do we get down? Oh my goodness. After a bit of mining, I decided to head back to spawn, but then this happened. Wait, you're literally flying on air. You're so laggy. Wait, what? Yeah, you're literally flying on air. You're super laggy right now. I'm literally not laggy. Look, look. Wait, Tara, I'm gonna keep hitting you. Just test my ping delay. So yeah, I was so laggy on the server that I died to a random creeper without me knowing. Every time you die on the server, your gem shatters. And if it breaks, you get death banned. And because of my internet connection, I kept dying and I got death back. But then the owner saw this and revived me. As soon as I got revived, I head to my new team's base and I was in shock. Oh my god. This place had everything. Villages, farms, a potion room, and even a cat. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not joking. Anyways, let's continue grinding. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Some ancient debris. What? Dude, we are getting so rich so fast. And oh my god, oh my god. 20 ancient debris. After hours of grinding, I crafted the gem upgrader, which allowed me to upgrade my gem to tier 2. So I can now cast magical superpowers. It upgraded. Yo. Right after, my teammate Pookie then gave me some traders so I can swap to a fire gem. Uh, we might have a problem. Did I mention that using the trader would randomly give you 1 out of the 7 gems randomly? This means I only have a 16.67% chance to get the fire gem. I'm gonna do it again. It worked! I got speed again. Oh. Should I try one more time? Again? Yeah. I got one more trader. I got fire! Oh my god. Yes! Go. Oh wow. my god. I Holy love shit. when that happens. The like one trader is clutch. Like, Wait, really? have one trader left? Yeah, I have one trade alive. I got fire. Hold on. I need a screenshot. Can we take a screenshot? I have successfully acquired the fire gem. And to test its powers, I went on the test server to check it out. Oh my god. With this power, me and my team decided to battle one of the most deadliest members on the server. Mugum. And I'm not joking. This is literally his skin. Our team had a strategy in mind. Pookie would first use his life gem to take away four hearts from Mugum. And since both me and Mervin had the fire gem, we will both take turns charging the fireball once he's about to die. And in order for the plan to succeed, it must be initiated. Oh yeah, it doesn't hurt. Really? Use your ability, Mugum. Use your ability. I mean, use your ability, Pookie. Um, don't worry. Uh, I, I have like long- Where'd he go? I'm gonna lead him to me. Are your fireballs charged? No, no. Uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan, start charging your Yeah, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Five seconds, five seconds. He's got longer cooldowns, remember. How is he not dead, bro? He's actually- He's close. There's no way. He's holding his totem out. Alright. Ah, he's always fighting in water. It's so annoying. Bro! Oh, he's getting all the boys on. They're getting all the boys on. Oh, no. Okay, well, if like, you guys desperate. Like, you guys Go to the deep chest. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Frick, he's re gearing, guys. We gotta drain him, okay, quick! Don't shoot it next time. Shoot it whenever he gaps again. Alright? Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it. Oh. Wait, wait, uh, let me charge. I'm charging, I'm charging. Give me a second. The battle was going great, until suddenly... What the?! Turns out, this fight had alerted Magum's teammates. And without realizing, I was shot by an unknown player with a bunch of magical daggers casted by the Astro Gem. Although I had died, Murfin and Pookie were still fighting. I could not leave the base since I was on my last life. So we had to form another plan. Since I was on my last life, I'd supply them with potions and create a stasis chamber for Pookie and Murphy in case anything goes wrong. So they returned, and we initiated Plan B. He bombed! No way! 
is he? He rolls. He's really rolling for this one. Oh my freaking. Oh, I already wasted it. It's fine. We got this. No. We gotta put him down. God damn. I just want him dead, for God's sake. Get ready to pick up his freaking loot. Get him. So we did it! We had killed Mugum and showed our strength. Plus, I got a bunch of gear back. Anything else? Armor, armor? Holy cow! I am not Mac though. Oh no, dude, I am like, I have, I have a lot of stuff as well. I have so much stuff. Yet. And after a small celebration, I decided to head to bed. But the next day, I woke up to this. Your entire base is gone. You're going to lose everything. Look at all of your effort, gone. All of your villagers are dead. This is what happens, Ryan. This is what you get. If you want revenge, meet me at spawn. I'd suggest you bring a friend. I'll be waiting. Mugum, he he had just destroyed the only thing I cared about on the server. <laughs> the gatekeeper's base. It's all gone. So. I signed a duel with Mugum, and also invited a friend, Togus, to the duel. If you want to take something from me, Mugum, I'll have to take something from you. Unfortunately, me and my friend Togas had just lost the battle. So I guess I don't deserve this fire gem after all. But I did get this really nice message from Mugum, okay? Anyway, he has a really similar video. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!